put aside about $500 every semester for textbooks specifically. Typically, I think it's about, it's based on the classes, but typically it's about 500 for me. I think easily, probably like, mm, like 300, 400, maybe. Sometimes I don't, I'm not able to buy the textbook, so I either borrow from my cousins that are taking the same, same um, class with me, but that's pretty challenging. The first semester, I spent about a little bit more than 600 bucks for just three textbooks, or four, I think. Yeah, and then the next one, it was 500 plus. So that's the range. I decided to switch my courses over to zero textbook cost because I got an email from a student once and they were telling me that the textbook was over $200 and I absolutely was gobsmacked. I couldn't believe it. Um, in anthropology, textbooks should not even come close to that price and I couldn't believe that I was asking my students to purchase something that was that expensive. More often than not, I hear that people do not join community college because still it's not in their budget. It's still expensive even though yes it's cheaper than a university but having that ability to open community colleges for no textbook it just makes it even more accessible for those that feel as if they can't do it or they can't get there. About 50 percent of our student population is living at low income or below poverty. The cost of textbooks is a barrier to our students so often I will hear an argument that many of our students are receiving financial aid and so their textbooks are really being funded by their financial aid benefits. And actually that's just not true. Not all of our students qualify for financial aid. Not all of our students actually apply for it even though they might qualify for it. And the reality is, is the financial aid does not go to the student until after the semester begins. So if you want your students to have the textbook in hand on the first day of class, the best thing that you can do is offer a zero textbook cost material that they have access to on the very first day. I don't get any financial aid. Um, the only thing I do get is the bog free waiver that pays for my classes, but other than that, I don't have any financial aid, so that comes out of my pocket. Challenges with commercial textbooks are currency of information in them. Um, they're always, and this is with any book, written from the point of view of the author, and the author's point of view may not be very inclusive. Um, in fact, in most cases, it's not very inclusive because, you know, they're writing from their lens of reality. And with the diversity and, and cultural complexity that we have on our campuses, we have to bring in more stories. Sometimes the professor and the textbook will contradict. They will not meet or talk about the same thing in the same way. So the professor giving you the questions that they've presented to you, that, that they've taught you, it's so much more helpful. We buy the expensive textbooks and usually just end up looking at lectures and the notes given by the professors only. There have been times where I didn't even read the textbook or the chapters in the textbook. And the beauty of an open educational resource is that you can modify it so that it is really fitting the students that are in your course. You can come up with examples or come up with material that is going to be most meaningful for them and let them learn and understand the concepts that you're trying to teach. The textbook that we wrote, um, for archaeology is like that. It's very brief. It gets right to the point, covers all of the sticky points that students tend to struggle with, and it has a ton of activities and applications in there, and students have really been able to kind of do the flipped classroom thing with me with this textbook. They've been able to come in with a basic understanding of the information, and we can start at a different level than if I was using a more traditional textbook that my guess is they probably didn't read because it was a lengthy chapter. It's interesting. I know, you know, we're teachers, we get a little geeky. I like looking at other textbooks and fishing through all the materials and seeing what else is out there. Um, and there's so many now. People across so many disciplines have gotten on board with this concept. I think education should not cost as much as it does. And this is just one small way I can help.
with that issue for my students. I think we should get this going as soon as possible. Uh, the Student Senate, um, we've been meeting frequently and discussing this um, incentive and trying to figure out how to actually get those professors who still are undecided or don't want to go in that direction to actually get this. I'm begging the professors and also the faculty, every, everyone, staff, to look at the positive, uh, the, uh, positive effect of this whole thing. It is going to be very beneficial to all those students. Our goal is to become a zero textbook cost campus, and there is still time to apply for CRC's OER award program. All faculty are eligible to participate, even non-classroom faculty and faculty who've already done work to convert their courses to ZTC. Find out more online at employees.crc.losrios.edu slash OER dash award.